Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been around my channel and seen other videos I do, um, you'll see I've offered some readings and some cardamancy lessons. Um, I've had a lot of emails from people asking me would I do some astrology readings. And so uh, this is your reading today. I'm doing a general reading for Sagittarius. Uh, and this reading goes from the week through to the 10th, through Saturday the 10th and through to Friday the 16th of October. This is a general reading and as with general readings, you have to take what fits and leave what doesn't fit. So hello to Sagittarius people out there with this weekly reading. Keep in mind also that there's a new moon in Libra on Friday the 16th and I will have to put some content. I'm not having to, I'm wanting to put content up for that. So if you like what you see, um, hit the subscribe button so you get notified of what I'm putting up as a surprise for the new moon in Libra. So what I'm going to do is switch screens. If you've been on my channel before, you know that's what I like to do. And then we're going to give the cards a shuffle to see what is in for the next week for Sagittarius. What are the cards going to say about the energy around you for that week? I'll just take it from the top. I'm doing an astrological reading. Uh, however, instead of doing it in a circle, I do it in a block, which allows me to work in a different way. And uh, it's a way that's worked well for me for some time. Every read is different. So, here we have it. I'll move the cards around a little bit as I speak. So it's an interesting lot of cards for Sagittarius. We, you start the week with the Empress. Things are fine and rosy and feeling that sense of creativity. And you might find that by the end of the week there's a family gathering for you. And um, that's important as well. It's getting together with family and doing all the things and also getting the rewards from a, a creative project that possibly you've been involved with. So um, that's just an interesting way of looking at it as well. So looking at the first house, um, things are going well for you and perhaps you're in a very creative field or feeling a time of being creative. You've been enjoying the outdoors and you've got these plan, this creative project of some sort that you've been working on. And there's this whole energy around you of wanting to have that happen and get that off the ground. And that's a lovely time to be in. You may also be enjoying going for walks and enjoying the outdoors a lot. So uh, that is a nice time for you. If you've been going through um, a time of this reflection and, and, and wanting to Feel that you've got to do this creativity um, the project that you're working on is going to come to a close soon so it's all moving along nicely as the way that you want and this is going to happen due to through to the support from others around that are helping you with it so it's quite collaborative and it's also going to pay off for you what you've um, been doing your financial situation is in going well as well which is nice you have the ten of cups money's going to flow and that is very good for you um, Sagittarius because you can spread some of your money for around with people that you love and value in life because you, um, things definitely flow with the ten of cups and it's going to flow quite well into you and that's going to give you a nice sense of security with that uh, you can expect to hear news uh, from a air sign man, Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Um, and he has got some, you'll have some conversations to have. And he might find you, give, he starts to give you some business advice or he sort of gives you this advice that you need to, something that you need to cut out to keep, improve, keep improving things going along. But you expect to hear from a air sign 
person and having lots of conversations with this person because it's someone that you almost look up to a little bit as well. Uh, and uh, he can, at different times, feel a little bit of envy about what it is that you are doing at the moment. But he's, in the, ultimately, his heart, his heart is in the right place. <coughs> Pardon me for coughing. So here we have home and family. And there's a air sign woman coming into the home as well. Once again, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. And she's um, going to sort of advise that you've been doing a lot and maybe it's time to take it a little bit easy with, with that. So uh, you can expect that to all go well. And also you will find lots of thinking will ease up for you as well um, by the end of the next week. So, uh, sorry about that. You have a talent for putting all your energy into whatever it is you're doing. Sagittarius do not do things by halves and in this week is no exception. It's, you've got this and it's go, go, go. And you need to be careful of not burning the candle at both ends with that uh, because you could find if you've been helping lots of other people you could find that that's coming to an end and that's not a bad thing because they, um, they've, they've been drawing on you and draining you um, it's now time to sort of put your boundaries down and say this is going to stop um, because I've got what I'm doing has got a lot of demands and also you uh, which then allows you to move forward more because as it is you are in a little bit of a demanding time um, things in your relationship are going to move very quickly if you've been looking for a relationship someone's going to rush into your life very quickly um, with that um, it, once again it's an air sign being a fire sign Sagittarius it's quite the norm to attract a lot of air sign people into your life and uh, it, it, this person will come into your life in a big rush and that's um, exciting if you have are in a relationship um, you will find that your things are going to move quickly for you um, in your relationship so the two of you will be doing things quite quickly and um, speed up there's a lot of speed around you and rushing about in that context so if you have been in debt, you will find that you'll be able to cut that debt out. And also, you will also, if you've been seeking change, one of the things you need to do to make change in your life is work out what do I keep and what has to go. And some of the, as I said, you're working on a project, even though it's going to pay off and it's been going very well, there's been a lot of effort getting put in and you have the risk of burning everything at at both ends so maybe there's something that has to be cut out when I look at the cards and sort of start weaving it all in together um, any debts that you've had you're going to get on top of now travel isn't a big thing for you at this time because when you're not doing what you do for work you're possibly just sort of sleeping and resting which isn't a bad thing, but it's not. You know how you, when you work really hard, you go you go to bed and you just sort of crash, and um, you sleep really well, and you, and a lot of your spare time is just spent recouping because, as I said, there's all this effort getting put in for you at the moment, and so there's no time to travel very much um, with with that at all in these times that the travels out but also due to this demanding with the work for you. Uh, if you are not working, not your project I'm talking about, that, that's this other energy around you, your actual work, one phase is going to be over in that, in your actual career work, and another phase is going to beginning, beginning with the, um, the world card there. If you've been looking for work, and been out of work, well, you can expect that that phase is over and an opportunity is going to come your way. And so um, that's a very good opportunity card with the world there. 
thinking, well, yeah, geez, this opportunity is coming for me. Um, however, if you have been working, as I said, these are general readings, so sometimes is it in context to that because there's no context to the question in this, but that's the work area. So something's ending and something's beginning. So I always work it if you've been looking for work, something's coming your way, so that period of not of looking for work will be over. Or if you are in work, one phase of your work will be over and you'll be doing something new, like a new chapter in your work life. So expect that. So friends around you um, are stressed out. And there's a lot of competition because you've been busy with what you've been doing because you've got your work life and you've got this extra project and entity that you've been doing <laughs> going by these cards um, there's a competition for your time and a lot of friends are feeling well we're not seeing you what the hell are you doing um, it would be good to catch up with you and also with your project with this main empress card here of cre creativity there's a sense of you're going to break into you hope to break into and be rise above competition in the project that you're doing with that and then watch out this week is family demands because even though family love you and want you to socialize and that that can also be a time of pressure to do things that when you you sort of caught up with this other things as well and also that needing to rest so a hectic week Sagittarius, <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, but on the other hand it, it's like there's a balance happening there so that's good so I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I look forward to the comments that you have and I'd like you to have a great week thank you once again Sagittarius